Hey guys, here's the latest airplane, the Cessna 177. We picked it up last week, had to fly out to Colorado, hop in a beat up old car, drive three hours in the middle of the night. And then uh, we flew her back home about 800 miles by way of St. Louis. So just thought we'd show you the new plane, give you a little tour, show you the performance. So we loaded up early in the morning, grabbed my childhood friend, and we brought her home. All right, we're in the car. We got a cracked windshield. We have no rear view mirror. Sun's coming up over Colorado. I wanna get the 177. We got this uh, this old car some guy left us at the airport, pretty cool. Just gotta drive a couple hours now we're gonna get there. Man, wide open spaces, people. This car is a little sketchy. All right, here's me and my co-pilot on the mission. <laughs> Had a little breakfast and now uh, yeah we're gonna drive about two hours hop in the plane and fly another four get to st louis drop him off then onward oh we gotta show the windshield all right here it is the cardinal three four three four eight that's pretty slick A little dusty, we could fix that. Look at that exhaust. That actually adds horsepower. It's supposed to add quite a bit. All right, this thing needs a bath a little bit, but not too shabby. We're at Lamar Airport. Interior looks pretty good. The Air Force Academy out here today with their gliders. Got a little competition going. Topping off the fuel tanks. Three, four, three, four, eight. There's little pits. That's cool. All right, we're in Lamar. We're gonna fly this thing home, St. Louis, and then home. Oh, look at the Air Force gliders. You don't see those every day. Someday they're gonna trust these young men with engines. Oh, they got to put them together. That's a little sketchy. <laughs> Here he comes with the tail section. That's pretty funny. Guess we're going to assemble it. Okay, so now we're underway, cruising at 7,500 feet. Um, it indicated about 130 miles per hour. If you look at our ground speed, I was pretty happy at this point, 145 knots. I actually still had the cow flaps open here. I hadn't closed them yet, kind of forgot about them. So they do add some drag. They take some speed away. You see our route here. It's uh, from Lamar, Colorado to St. Louis. A little bit out of the way to go to St. Louis on the way to Chicago, but much more fun to bring somebody along with you. So we decided it was worth it. You look out the window here, you see all kinds of places to land if you had a problem. Just, uh, I always feel safer here when I'm not flying over thick forest and mountains. So pretty fun flight, pretty enjoyable afternoon. Perfectly, really smooth day. We had just beautiful conditions, no bumps, just zipping right along. So now we're really cooking. The wind's getting behind us. Look at that ground speed, 170 knot ground speed. Still 7,500 feet, just making great time. I mean, we're flying at Bonanza speeds in this little guy. Looking at our fuel stop here, just south of Kansas City, I think it's Miami County, and we'll get to that in a minute, but a wonderful place to stop. Cheap gas, great food, you gotta stop if you're in the Kansas City area, that is the place to go. So the topography is getting a little more interesting here. You look at the fuel flow, the top number, about 10 gallons an hour, I think I have to recalibrate that. I don't think that's quite accurate. We burned a little more than that. So here we are coming in, turning left base runway 21. 
because you hear undershot the final just a little bit really windy today though the winds were gusting over 30 knots so really hadn't flown a plane like this in about 30 years <laughs> for a 177 so uh gusty windy a um, little less of a cross one here but still a lot of wind see we'll come into runway 21 and uh typically like i like to do you still hold it off a little right hold it off get it slowed down get that nose wheel in the air like i always say there's only two landing gear on an airplane nose gear is just uh, so the prop doesn't hit the ground when the landing is over so make sure we make a good landing on the mains it's actually pretty soft hard to tell in the video but i was super happy with it planes performing great so far all right guys we made it down miami county i want to show you this see this little knob right here guess what this does it opens a little window like in the old days can you imagine the air you get off that thing that's amazing and it says you could do it to 120 miles an hour that would be too much air but that is pretty cool we're liking that. Just little kids don't know how to use these things. That's how we did it in the day. We flew for two hours and about 50 minutes. Awesome, flawless, flawless. Get some gas. And I'm a big fan of this plane, you guys. This is all right. You know what the most amazing thing of all is? I've never seen a plane do this. You open this door, come around here, it's like getting into a car. I mean, this I've never seen a plane so easy to get to. It's low. The gear is back. It's great. All right. So we're going to gas up. Keep on going. We've got an hour and 20 more minutes. We'll be in St. Louis. There's the plane and right inside. We be smoking. Turns out we don't know what we're going to do for lunch, but they have barbecue here. All right. No, this is perfect. Nice place to stop. That windsock is all the way out, man. That was that's blowing. All right, we be smart. What a deal. Pretty nice. All right, guys, Miami County, just south of Kansas City. There's the windsock. I mean, it's uh, it's blowing. Miami County Airport. We came here for the cheap gas. It's five dollars and five cents a gallon, and we walk in there. We didn't walk in. Actually, we pulled the plane up. We smelled the barbecue, <laughs> and it was, it was worth it. Five dollar gas, which in 2022, that's cheap. If you're looking at this in the future, maybe that's incredibly expensive, but most of the places we flew over, it was about $7 a gallon. So it's 505 a gallon, barbecue, awesomeness, Miami County, south of Kansas City. I think it's K81. And uh, just fueled up the plane. There she is. She's a beaut. This thing is running great. <clears throat> I'm guessing we're doing about... About 125, 128 knots, which is more than I thought we'd get. It's got 180 horse, fixed gear. It's got this tuned exhaust though, and this tuned ex exhaust is supposed to add some horsepower. And I think it must, because I don't think these are supposed to be this fast. But we are digging it, very sleek. Flying along, there's an Air Force Base right off the wing. It's Whiteman Air Force Base. Just want to give you a view of that. Look at the map I have here, that little circle around it. You can't be in that. And there we are just outside of it. So we're perfectly legal to be that close to it as we fly by. Get a good little view of what's going on, on the ground over there. All right, flying along. Another nice thing about the 177 is you could see things right below the plane. There's no strut. Like most airplanes have a strut going to the wing. There's no strut. So uh, just better visibility than you normally would have. There's our ground speed, 165 knots. Just cruising. Jefferson City Memorial. That's an airport we hit on my video, uh, the Cessna 150, 60 knots for, I think, 700 miles. <laughs> you notice the topography here, fewer places to land. Now it's getting more wooded. There's more, you know, streams, rivers. And again, just look at this ability to look down and uh, observe the ground from this airplane. It's really uh, just a wonderful view. Now we made it to St. Louis. This is the downtown Parks Airport. You see the arch down there, the St. Louis Arch. Landing on runway 30 left, big runway. I actually, 30 or so years ago, flight instructor at this airport for over a year. So we lived in the area, coming back home, nose high, another decent landing. It's hard when he's holding the cell phone up to record this stuff, and it doesn't hardly bounce, you know it went okay. 
But uh, big airport, big runway. We're going to drop them off. You see the, the clouds are getting a little more ominous. The weather, the rain's coming. And there's some big old hangers. So that's a little foreshadowing of the last leg, which isn't quite as enjoyable. So now I've departed again. There's the St. Louis Arch right along the Mississippi River. I'm by myself now with a cell phone camera, but uh, I could fly and take movies at the same time. I'm a professional YouTuber. So here's the Alton Regional Airport. Flown in there a lot also when I was younger. Checking out the route here, still under the Class Bravo airspace, the Class B of St. Louis. Now we're getting into some weather. <laughs> now it's getting rainy. My buddy Jim always says, go find a rainstorm to fly through. It'll clean the plane. So we clean the plane. Trust me. We're already coming up in Chicago here. You can see it. Really good depiction of the weather on the foreflight. There's my ads be in unit on the dash it really works out well um, low visibility out front though i mean you could barely see forward and you know you should have what three miles visibility if you look out the side you got it i mean i got 20 miles visibility out the side but that doesn't mean you could see anything out the front windshield good lesson learned here flying through weather so uh getting a little bumpy a little moderate turbulence had to slow it down but overall we made it in despite the wind of the weather all in one day All right, guys, long day. Started in Denver, went to St. Louis to drop off my buddy, and I flew all the way back to Chicago. The last part was tricky. It was uh, hit my head on the ceiling once. On short final, I was plus and minus 15, 20 knots all the way in it. It's getting dark, a little hairy, but we made it. So the plane is in her fancy home. Notice the fanciness. There she is, take one last look. It is a sleek plane. I saw 128 knots true airspeed on 10 gallons an hour. Really, really impressed with the Cardinal. This one's a little souped up with the exhaust, but uh, I was expecting 150, 120 knots. I got almost 130. Pretty plain though, really sleek. You can see even the windshield. See how that's compared to 172? This was supposed to replace the 172, but with the constant speed prop and the cowl flaps, I think they thought it was just a little too much for students, but man, it is nice. All right, we're gonna show you this one little thing. My begrudging, uh, or my assistant. How you doing? I want to show people how easy it is to get in because it's hard to explain. So I want you guys to watch this. This door opens 90 degrees and look at that seat. All right, show us how it is. It's like getting in a car. Get in a car. Nothing in the way. Just sit down and you're in. It's amazing. If you've ever struggled climbing up on the wing of a Cherokee or a Mooney or a Cirrus or a, a 172 where the, the wheel's in the way and there's a strut right here in the way, if you notice about this, there's no strut. There's nothing in the way. And I know I'm repeating myself on this a little bit. But for older people, for people, uh, you know, bad shoulders, bad knees, like a friend of mine, he's going to get in this thing and have no problem. The Cardinal, we're going to do some more, moves, some more uh, videos on it. So far, it looks like a keeper.